Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming and today I'm bringing you a Crab Malamar deck as requested by Masterful Kane. Now this is a deck list that I actually put together at like 1am in the morning because I knew that I had a really busy work schedule coming up and I just wanted to get a video recorded so these matches are like me playing all hours of the night and I'm pretty tired so I do apologise for that. Um, but I have refined a little bit since because I've, you know, just in between my breaks at work, I've um, played around with it. So the deck list has refined a little bit since the recordings of the videos. So you might see some subtle differences between this and the gameplay. The deck itself got off to a really rough start though because I had back-to-back -back Reshazards and then back-to-back -back Sylveons. Um, not Sylveon, Sylveon Gardevoir decks. So the Tag Team GX decks, which don't require many Pokemon um, in that deck to begin with and this deck requires a lot of Pokemon to be successful like your opponent to have a lot of Pokemon so either they're putting it onto the bench for us which allows us to use our crab here crab omnibule um, with his fight alone because if you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent this attack does 50 extra damage for each um, Pokemon fewer that you have in play so if they fill that complete bench and we say we've got two Pokemon in play so one and one on the bench it's gonna be four less so it's 200 extra damage 230 all of a sudden like we're starting to add up our numbers quite nicely here so that can be quite a deadly little attack but obviously it requires our opponent to bench all that Pokemon if they don't then we need to make them pay for holding it in their hand and that's where the Malamar comes into combat so he's got the hypnotic rain which your opponent fills a hand and you may discard a Pokemon that you find there and use one of that Pokemon's non GX attack as this attack so if they hold on to them we can go in with the Malar if they bench them then we can go in with the crab but if they don't have any Pokemon to begin with such as Reshazard decks and um, Guardian decks then that strategy kind of falls apart. So it really depends on our matchups. Um, other than those two matchups, I've fared fairly well with this deck since playing it. Uh, but yeah, those two matchups really hurt early with a 4 0 start. Well, 0 4 technically. Um, so that's really the combo that we're looking at. Now, we do have some assistance with this. So the crab here has got a four, 140 HP uh, with four retreats. So that's just enough for us to use some knee pads here and suddenly make that 190 HP. So hopefully lasting an attack and being able to get a couple of nice vital lines off while you just set up one more Pokemon in the background. And we also have for the Malamar just a couple of tricks to help us with the Hypnotic Rain. We have added Lavender Town to the deck, which allows us to see our opponent's hand. I was running Shrine before that. Going to Lavender Town, I'm liking that a little bit better. I don't like the fact that they can see our hand, so we know they know what we've got. But I am liking the Lavender Town, just so it just helps with the Mally. And we're also running a nice surprise box, because if they discard that Pokemon, we can put one of their Pokemon back into their hand, and then use that attack and discard it back again. So that combos quite nicely with the Malamar as well, and that's really the major combos that we've got here. Um, I did switch over to a Greens engine um, after a couple of plays through when I realized I wasn't running any uh, abilities, but I did that before the videos. So you will see the Greens engine here, which you know just helps super well the consistency of this deck. And I think the other thing that I added in was a second Goo. I do like the second Guzma in this deck just so you can pull things off the bench and uh, you know snipe away So that's really how the combination works. Shall we begin? I think we shall Hello pout and welcome All right, got a crab Got a Nespel Got a draw supporter got an energy card. And what could you want? What more could you want from this hand? It's busted right here Right here, Vulpix. All right, going second as well. Look at that, look at that. So it means you're gonna get a free beacon off on me. That's unfortunate. After this, and it's gonna be a Blastoise, which it's a tough deck for me to overcome, I feel. Bit of a tough one. Beaten it once, but <laughs> I think I got a little bit lucky to say the, uh, say the least there. Oh, Eevee Snorlax down. I do like that. Okay. Okay. I can I can dig that. 
I can dig an Eevee Snorlax. Um, what do I want to do here? What do we want to do? I'm, I'm feeling... I'm feeling like it's a nest ball play right now. Yep, yep, that's what we're going to do. And we'll go and get ourselves a crab. Yeah, let's 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 go all out in the crab. We're all about the crab action here. All about the crab action. And chuck a shrine down. Yep, sounds fun. And Cynthia. Did say we're all about the crab action, didn't I? Um, <laughs> judge's whistle. Let's draw some cards. There's an NG. We do need a way into our crab. That's not a way into our crab. It's a lack of crab action. We want a crab action. Alright, I'll stay over. We're not even going to have the, uh... Okay, or this Vulpix is gonna be sad. You've, you've already got the Blastoise. That's devastating. That is devastating. Right there. Right there is devastating. <laughs> Judge me. Nest ball. To another Squirtle. Oh, that's set up. I mean, technically we've got a big crab and a KO if I really want it, but I'd just kill my hand. Absolutely kill the hand by doing it. Squirtle, another Blastoise. We'll draw a cut. Why not? It's all the judge's whistles gone from the deck. Got a nice lily pool. That'll work, won't it? Sort of. I don't like committing two of these guys to... Ah, but we're fine. We're fine. We got this. We've got this. Go and get a crab. Yep. Yep. This deck's just... This deck's OP. This deck is way OP. Crab down. Energy card. Lily. Look at that. Got a crab for next turn and some energy for it as well. Look at that. Crab. And... Alone. Take down that Vulpix. Epic KOs there. Epic KOs. Oh, drop. We're laughing at the moment. We are laughing. <laughs> Don't know what we're laughing at, but we're laughing. Well, we could take, like, the biggest risk in the world that you can't get two energy cards. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Although he did bench another one. Another Squirtle for me. Which is fine then. For a second there, for some stupid reason, I thought like all those cards were his. <laughs> Where's prize cards? I'm sitting there going like, how did I just suddenly lose that game? Um, I'm thinking a judge. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is good. We're ultra ball. Yep, fine. Ultra ball those two. We're good with that. And we'll go and get ourselves another crab. Oh. Okay. Okay. Is this a change of plans? Um... Uh, only stretcher <laughs> and two of our crabs are prize, but we're about to get three prize cards We're about to get three prize cards. <laughs> we're gonna get this. This is this is absolutely guaranteed That I'll get the crap Like absolutely guaranteed out this prize card, so I'm gonna get we'll just we'll just pull a crap It will be clutch. Here's watch. Here's watch how clutch this pull will be from the prize cards. So we're just gonna fight alone, bang into this guy, and watch me pull my crab on the wall. <laughs> just watch this. Watch this. Yep, Lily, that's fine. That's fine. We only need one crab. We only need one crab. Greens, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. There's two crabs in here. <laughs> it 
Excellent. We're good. We're good. We're laughing. We're laughing. I have no idea how I'm getting a single KO. <laughs> From here on out. Absolutely no clue. Whatsoever. So, you know, just two crabs for us. Just two crabs for us. That's all. And we threw away a stretcher at the start. We're laughing. We're laughing. This is good. We're fine. We're fine. We've got this. We've got this. What we do is we cry ourselves to sleep. That's what we do. <laughs> I think what we're going to have to do is sacrifice a crab. Go and get in game. Yeah, we just have to sacrifice a crab here. Go and get in game. Down. Pray. So we'll go and get NK down. Yep. We're fine with that. We're probably going to go and get dupe NK down. So we'll greens here. We'll go and get... I reckon a nest ball. We're going to need the... No, 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 no. We're going to need a greens for the next turn. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We're good with that. Yep. Go and get another NK down. We're fine with that. NK. Come out. Awesome. Thank you, buddy. And we're not going to come in Ninja yet. We're just going to pass it over. Although we could hit in an extra 20 damage. How? Like, oh yeah, that's, that's busted right there. Just corkscrew punch. Bang! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that damage. Look at all those damage. <laughs> Surely at this point you have realized that I have prized both craps. <laughs> And it builds. Brooklet. Get rid of the shrine. That's where I reason why we held black market. So now we just we're gonna survive. We're gonna We got this. We've got this. Bench full of Pokemon. We just need a KO here. Do you even have like something in the discard that I I could use? Oh, Eevee Snorlax! Nice! Nice! I forgot you had the Eevee Snorlax there. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. Powerful Squall. So what's our plan here? What's our plan? Well, our plan... Get this. It's a good plan. Is... In K down. Get the old Mally happening. Pray for success. We're still praying. We are still praying. <laughs> I mean, we could actually finish this off with Mally, theoretically. Theoretically. Although, I don't know, we can get to you with the last toys that I'm about to put there. I mean, it's possible. I've got to somehow find my way into a uh, darkness energy. Oh, am I running for Judge Whistle? I am running for Judge uh, Whistle. Look at that. Look at that. Don't even know what I'm running in my deck. Um, <laughs> Malamar. Malamar. Let's, let's draw a card. We'll decide what we get after we draw this card right here. Look at that. Another greens. So we don't need another greens. We'll black market down. We'll whack an energy card to you. So that's good. We'll greens here. And what we want <laughs> is we want an energy card. But we do need... Oh, no, we've got double Mally. We're fine. We're fine. We're laughing. Uh, we do need surprise box. I think we actually grab double surprise box. Out of this. I mean, we could go Crabonable. Like, a crab down after this. But how many DCs do I even have left? In fact, the answer to that question is scrolling to the end. Two. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go and get ourselves a crab. Look at this. Look at this. Go back to the crab play. Now it's price box. Ahead. What's that? You wanted Eevee and Snorlax back in your hand? Fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll make that happen for you. 
And we'll now discard it for you. You didn't want that EV Snorlax, did you? No, that's fine. You're good. And we'll dump truck press. I mean, I could have cheered, tried to cheer you up a little bit. But we're good. <laughs> yes, got me out of one of my crabs. Look at that. Got me a crab. So the plan is, we're going to go crab down. to a crab on all. We're going to lily up. See if I can magically pull a DCE. You don't get a prize card out of that. That's awesome for me. Um. Oh no! No, that is devastating! Devastating! Um. <laughs> I had Malamar right now, I won. But anyway, I've got the darkest energy for the next turn. So, plan's still the same. Plan is still the same. Lily, look at this. It's enough to make you cry, isn't it? <laughs> it's, uh, uh, we're, we're good, we're good. Just knee pads, look at this. And we're good, we're fine. This deck's just, it's good, it's good. We're fine. Got a candy. You become a Kyurum deck. I oh, seriously, this is doing a lot. Like it's got Pyukum for some reason. Maybe Snorlax, Blastoise. Like it's a mostly a Blastoise deck. We've got a Kyurum. It's got a lot happening here. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I mean, you're gonna paralyze me. We've got it on the next turn anyway. We do have it on the next turn. So we can go and pull in Blastoise out of this. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. So we got the cards in hand, ready to roll. What to let loose coming right now? <laughs> what are you pulling back? I do need to concentrate here because what you pull back is important to me. I'm hoping you don't shuffle them into your deck. I'll be devastated if you shuffle them into your deck. Ah, last voice. Okay, that's fine. So I don't even need to surprise me. Hmm. I bet you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> oh, we got a Guzma! Oh yeah, this is just... This deck, this deck, let me tell you, this deck is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Eevee Snorlax. It's actually going to go on a three game winning streak. Uh, the reason why I'm like paying out this deck so bad is... I um, I came up against Reshazard, Reshazard, I uh, like just tag team GX Pokemon to begin with and I was just getting killed, <laughs> absolutely killed, so yeah, we're fine, and uh, dump truck press, we got this, double crabs prize, that killed me, that killed me, good game, good game, hello war store and welcome. Alright, so we're going the Inkay Malamar route first. Without a lot more. Then I suppose we could Ultra Ball the Judge's Whistles and uh, play from there. Who knows? Rock Grit, Darkness NG. Okay. What's this gonna be? Well, we could add Brox Grit to this just to get ourselves going a little bit quicker and that way we can open ourselves up to like tappy leles or the denes i don't know it's a possibility I do want you to bench lots of pokemon for me that'd be nice if you bench lots of pokemon and also discard some pokemon <laughs> Oh no, not Brock Screw. Brock Screw, it's not the one that gets rid of them from the bench. Um, I'm trying to think what it was. It does. But the card that gets rid of bench Pokemon. Uh, you've gotten rid of something that shuffles a lot of Pokemon back. So 
We are heading for weakness, so I do want you to just put lots of uh, lots of Pokemon down. You haven't. Well, that's that's not nice. You're supposed to put lots of Pokemon down. Don't you understand how this works? <laughs> Judge's whistle. Draw a card. Draw a card. I really, really, really don't want to show you what I actually am. So we're going to black market. This hurts. Or, am I getting KO'd here? With an energy switch, I definitely am. <laughs> do we just take the biggest gamble of my life? Yes. Yes, we do. Constrict. Watch for the tails. Yes. Good start. Good start. <laughs> Let's see if you got the energy switch. I mean, you can rogue ring here. I just want you benching more Pokemon. That's what I want before I actually show you what I actually am. So again, Cynthia, that's fun. And then we'll worry about being a Malamar deck later. The sad thing is you can Rogue Ring because I flip tails. <laughs> Which generally happens. That black market actually helps you. When I think about it, maybe I shouldn't have played the black market. Maybe I should ultra build that away. Ah oh, well, we'll see. We'll see. See what happens. All right, so we'll go Malamar down. We'll ultra ball these two away. Go and get ourselves a crap. That's fun. Chuck a crap down. Chuck some knee pads. Chuck him a DCE. Chuck a judge down. Hope that you draw into a Pokemon. That's what we're really hoping for. And for now, Hypnotic Rain. Oh, Guzzlord. What have you got in the active? Hoper. So, Tarantula Hole. Ah, oh, we can't use the Glutton GX anyway. So yeah, Guzzlord. That's fun. And we'll Tarantula Hop. Bang! 180 damage. Like that. How do you like them apples? How do you like them apples? I mean, that is a scary, uh, <laughs> scary GX attack. Which I'm assuming is probably going to be coming at me at some stage. Devilish, devilish Hands isn't going to be good for it. Well, it's potentially going to be coming at some stage anyway. Kind of wish I had Goose and shenanigans and stuff, but anyway. Dark Strike! Alright. So we have absolutely nothing in hand. But we can start setting up. Beautiful. Look at this. This is this is just gold. Crab roller, down. Yep. It's fun. Oh, we have to ultra ball here, don't we? Oh, I don't like sacrificing the uh, the knee pads, but you gotta do what you gotta do uh, to get yourself a crab. That's fun. That's fun. Look at this crap. This is OP. Straight OP. Right here. Look at that. Double colour synergy. And final line. Now we got ourselves a singular prize card. <laughs> Thanks to my black market. <laughs> Having said that, you didn't get a prize card either, so I, I'm winning the prize card trade there. I won that prize card battle. And you drive. Alright. This is bad. <laughs> this is real bad. We do have a shrine. One turn too late, buddy. One turn too late. Um, well, fight alone. Add some chip damage into this Lele. Need to energy attach the Lele, didn't you? To get the KO. Hi, Go and get ourselves two prize cards. That works for me. 
Hopefully you don't have field block. DCE, oh look at this, this look at this. Absolutely busted right now. <laughs> Get some more chip damage onto you. Be interesting to see, do you want to play more Pokemon onto the bench? Then the question comes back to me, do I want to play more Pokemon on the bench? Mm, it could, look, this could backfire big time, but I'm thinking that we hit in without the Mally right now. So we do have to bring back my crap. It's all about the crap. And he'll stand and literally fight alone. So he can hit 80 damage. 80 damage on this, which is 160, and puts him in a bit of a uh, bit of an iffy spot. So I'm gonna put it over to him. If you can get me right here, right now. Well done. <laughs> But you do have to get like a black market prism star or get me right here right now and you don't so that's game that's game fight alone bang <laughs> there we go get to save those energies if you want get to save those energies <laughs> that's what you call truly fighting alone with some crap with some crap he may have gone. <laughs> There's the remaining prize cards. Hello, Ketlin Reese, and welcome. All right, well, in case you're up front, that's what we're doing here. Just in case up front. What have we got? Shrines. Oh, this is Aerodactyl, isn't it? Uh, yeah, probably Aerodactyl. Probably. No, Aerodactyl would probably be on a Psychic Energy, wouldn't it? Item Lock, something like that. I don't know. Supporter Lock. Who knows? Let's draw a card, though. That sounds fun. Chuck crap down. Sounds good to me. I like craps. Chuck crap down. Have an energy. Yep, sounds good. And... That's done. Yep, fun. So the reason I didn't take lies there is I've got the Mally and the Crab and Crab on the ball, so they're kind of what I want. I have no idea what's coming though. Like what you're going to evolve into exactly. Whether it's going to be Item Lock, Sporter Lock or just Aerodactyl. But if it was Aerodactyl I wouldn't be thinking it would be Fighting Energy. Unless you know something I don't. That's what I'm feeling anyway. I mean, if it's item lock, it's interesting because I'm not going to really be wanting to have more Pokemon uh, than you. Because <laughs> I kind of want to fight alone. That's what it means to, uh, to fight alone. <laughs> Got the candy. I'm really kind of hoping you do have a Pokemon in hand. That's what we're kind of hoping for here. Shrine down. Alright. So that's the play we're going for is you have the Pokemon in hand. That's what we're hoping for here. We'll whack the NG onto you. There's nothing in the discard that I want to give you right now. So we'll shuffle. And give you some knee pads. Yeah, why not? Have some knee pads. And hypnotic rain. Let's have a look at your hand. Ah, okay. So if your opponent's active focus is evolution Pokemon, it does 60 more damage. Uh, I need to do 70. Um, if your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, is knocked out. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're doing. And Wild Crash. Nope. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That was amazing. <laughs> that 
I love that. I love that. Rare candy. I mean, you've got the melee even return, so well done there. But what we're doing now is we're looking at the crab just to buy a turn, to be completely honest. Did you have the Guzma? I can't remember. Really can't remember. Um, I think we actually go Jill Inke down. So all we want here is we want to go... Another... I feel like we need a big pull. So I'm feeling like Cynthia. And Nespo. Because what I'm feeling there... Rather than Cynthia, let's go Lily. Let's go Lily. Lily and Nespo. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So right here, we'll Nespo. We'll go and get ourselves another NK down. We're fine with that. So it's only going to do 120. Which means the 30 damage on you is actually really important. So we actually have to do this. We really do. Alright, fight alone. Just to get that damage on. Getting the fossil up. We don't have the switch, which is awkward. It's plain hit. It's like the last card I wanted to draw there. Black market. I was really hoping you'd... Mm. Lily for three. Charges whistle. Go into another NG. Don't have a switch, which is an issue. But what we're going to do is just fight alone again. Chip damage. That's all we want. Unfortunately, there's no way that I can stop you from getting the NG straight back. And I'm using a lot of my dark NGs. Which I'm not a fan of. Either. So. Rangry to instruct. So I think after this, we've got to go crabs. We've got to go crabs. Another fossil down. Hit, get rid of the crap. But what we can do is go and get that Rampardus and ditch it here. So that's fun. So we're looking energy attachment to you. Ultra Ball. The buff pads and shrine. Go and get me a Malamar. That's fun. Some Mally. We'll go and give you back your uh, Rampardos. Expect to lose it in a sec. We'll now sit there. <laughs> Expect to lose it. Um, yes, we do get a crab, so that's what we want. Crab, Mally. And what we want to do here is just hypnotic rain and get rid of this guy. Yep, that's fun. And we'll perform a nice clean hit. Bang! It's good to know you don't have the evolution at the moment. Get to save that energy though. It's well done there. Got another greens. That's good. That's good. That's real nice. That's perfect timing on that greens. Although, you're one energy attachment away, but yeah, it's perfect timing in the greens, because, yeah, we want to go in with Mally here on the next one. And save the crab if we can. There's another fossil down. 
Sounds good for me. You do need to work something out. I mean, that's smart if this is Rempados. Um... What I've got to think now... The two... You've got two extra. I don't one-shot, so it's just better hitting him with, uh, with the Malamar. So unfortunately I'm not one-shotting here. Get a fossils, get another fossil. Although... Do I chance it? It'd be nice to chance it right now. And just... Tate and Liza. It gives me the best pull. Be beautiful to chance it. Chance it for that DCE. Got three in deck. Four in deck. So surely there's a good chance. Surely there's a good chance that I can find what I need. Judge's whistle. And dig a little bit deeper. Power pad, we don't want to replace cards at this stage. No way do we want to replace cards. Um, we don't want to energy attach, that's important. We do want to evolve. And we need a DCE. DCE and this pays off big time. Yes, good. Oh, but it's also not good. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's think about this. With a bench of five, if I... I need three on the bench. So yeah, we go and get our... I don't know why you loaded your bench there, but we're going to make you pay for it now. So go a crab down, DCE down, and fight alone. Smack into you. Get rid of that thing. Get it out of here. Get another prize card. Get another crab. Alright. Let's see what you've got now. Don't only draw, which is so bad. Wouldn't mind top decking some kind of draw spot, even a greens. Greens will be fine. Got a candy. Oh, this could be huge for you. Could be absolutely huge. It's looking like it's huge. <laughs> it's looking like it's massive. Cynthia. So with the clean hit, you can take down Mally. You can't take down a crab on the wall. Unless you got a switch of some kind, it gives me another KO here, which is beautiful. And buys me some more time. Although you're going to get rid of your fossils to stop that from happening. That seems fair. That seems fair. You have to get rid of both. You do have to get rid of both. He knows that. He knows that. Alright. So it's unfortunate. But it is what it is. So, we'll DCE onto you. Crab down. Now Lily up. At the moment, I've got to be thinking here. It's only hitting for 120, which is just a huge issue. Like when I get into it. Because 150 is just annoying. But I'm probably attacking with Mally on the next turn, that's for sure. Yeah, there's no doubt. So here's Fight Alone. Chip into this Jirachi. I mean, I've, I've forced you to burn fossils. And how are you going to need fossil excavation max? You've got two of them probably left. Martial Arts Dojo. So that gets the one shot on me too. 
Well done there, well played. But it's one of those things that gets the one shot right now. Doesn't necessarily get the one shot after you take this KO. And that's a nice stadium to probably have sitting there for later. Hmm. Decisions to make. I think we do go in with Mally on the next one. I mean, you've got so many Rampados in the bin too. It's funny. Dancy down. Alright. That makes things more awkward for me. So it's definitely... I'm with one, two... Extra, it's 130. I'm not hitting enough. That's probably someone I need to actually put, add to this deck is Deancey. But then that's another bench space. And the bench... Nah, nah, that doesn't work. The maths does not work adding Deancey. So I go Mally here. Because that's 140. Oh, but I don't have any fighting energy. So no, I don't get any value out of that whatsoever. So it's got to be Mally. It's got to be Mally. And what are we greens searching for? Probably another crab. Is that what I'm feeling? Another crab? So an S bomb. And some knee pads. We're not using the knee pads this turn. Let's grab another greens. Yeah. We don't have our Guzma in deck. Okay. So something to consider. Alright. So I think we Nespel now. Oh, we need a stretcher. Unless we want to go on Mali again. On the next play, we can go Mali again. Do we have Stretcher in the deck? No. Alright, well it needs to be Mali. We need to go back to back Mali. Alright. I don't know if I've got the energy to even go back to back Mali. Hmm. Alright, well, NG to you. And it's going to be hard to get that NG too, because I've got one dark NG left. So that's not great for me. Oh, we have Stretcher in hand. Ah, oh, wish I'd seen that. Really wish I'd seen that now. We can't Stretcher now. We've got a surprise box first. And go and chuck the Rampardos on. And then Hypnotic Rain. Get rid of Rampardos. And we'll now clean hit. 120. What we can still do. Because you're a basic Pokemon. If you're going to go with basic Pokemon after this, my Wild Crash can just KO you immediately. So maybe we attack with the Crab next. And Greens. Go and probably get me another Greens. And... Well, we don't have the energy right now. Probably not the other Greens. I'm going to bring the Crab up. So you want him now. Mm, that's unfortunate, because that's my tanking. Alright. Alright. Play it that way. So 
So what we're needing to do from here. So the crab goes. Let's promote the melee. Ah, we got the surprise box, so that's one piece done. We need the stretcher for the crab. Which we've got. I feel like Judge. Although we kind of need knee pads. I think Judge and knee pads, to be honest. Because what's green's going to get me on the next play? I've kind of got my guaranteed Crabondal. Potentially the Malamar. But hang on, do I have the other Dark Energy? Yeah, I do. I need to draw for it. So it's got to be Judge. That's my only hope. So I'll bring those two. Whoa, Stretcher. Our crab back. Chuck him down. Chuck a DC onto him. We're going all in with this at the moment. We're going to surprise box. Have a look at your hand. Probably should have done that first. I do have another Guzma. I need greens. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't your hand. This is your um, discard. Idiot. <laughs> Alright, so Rampados, that's who we're bringing back. Alright, now we just go with Hypnotic Range. Now have a look at your hand. Alright, so you don't have Guzma, so that's okay. So we'll use Rampados, oops, use Rampados. And with the clean hit, get rid of this guy. Knowing that Deancey now comes in. And we've got the Guzma. Which could be important. Got the Guzma out of the prize cards at least. We're probably judging though. We're pretty much most certainly judging here. You've got a chance of a Guzma and that'd be devastating to me. Got a stretcher. Sucks this in case down. But it could come in handy later. I don't know. Probably not, but we'll pretend that it's going to. <laughs> That's what we're gonna pretend. We're gonna smile and pretend that it's it's gonna be absolutely clutch. I really wish it wasn't down though, because you're a Guzma away from being able to take out the game. If I can't KO this right here, right now. Which with the fight alone I can, but you've got to get another fighter. That's something that's going my way, which will be your Oranguru because of the Wishful Baton. Unless I played interesting. I need to evolve my NK. I do need to evolve the NK. So I think it's... Crab roller to you. Down. Crab honorable. We're gonna do this. We're gonna Ultra Ball, the Guzma, and the DCE, and get Mally out of the deck. Just because I want it harder for you to get the KO. Judge. Straight out. And we've got the two cards we wanted, plus a greens, which is nice. So that's cool. Alright. Fight alone. And you don't get the KO, actually. That's something I just didn't even think about. You don't get the KO. Which means you're still a Guzma away. And I don't have a way to get through. Mm, I need to be able to hit through that.
There's 90 damage on. It's gonna do 100 damage, which is just enough. Ah, oh, it makes me so sad. It's just enough. And I don't see a way out of this now, unless we power pad. But even power pad, we're not getting anything that's useful. Guzma. Greens, why not? I mean, there's no point on greens anymore. Might as well bring a judge, why not? <laughs> But well, we just don't have it, because unfortunately you get to save the energies and you'll go to the Orangaroo and you've got game. We just don't have it. Unless we dig. Guzma will be the last card, watch. Guzma's gonna be the last card. It's the last card. Oh, that would have been huge. Oh no, it wouldn't have mattered because you had the KO anyway. It doesn't matter which way I look at it. I can't do it. I just can't do it. There's no way I can do it. So fight alone. Well played. Well played. Because you've got the KO here. I'm sure you just go to the Orangaroo. You've got it with the Orangaroo. I'm gonna go swing around. All right, try and do it with style. That's a risk, isn't it? You've got to hit one heads. You've got it, yeah, two heads. I mean, that is my luck, <laughs> getting the two heads. Oh, it was a good game, it was a good game. And it is time to rate this deck. And starting with damage here, the damage potential of this deck is actually quite high because if your opponent completely fills that bench, your crabs fired alone, if you've got him on his own, can potentially do a, a 280 damage, which is massive for a one prize card Pokemon. But then you've only got one Pokemon in play and that can be a little bit tricky. So there's that. But then we've got the Mali that can use, theoretically, any of your opponent's non-GX tax, as long as we can get that Pokemon back into their hand somehow. So the damage potential of this deck is actually quite massive. The reliability, on the other hand, we'll cover that when we get to reliability. So the damage potential, I like it, we're giving it a 9 out of 10. As for the defensive numbers, we do like the defense of this deck. Our crab here has 140 base HP, add some knee pads, that's suddenly 190 HP. And 190 HP is a lot to get over for our opponent for one Muesli prize card. So we do like the crab's defense. Now the Mali's only got 100 HP, giving up one prize card as well. Uh, but if, they, if we happen to have our black market in and they can't get rid of it, they don't get a prize card and that works in our favor here so we can make them play a seven prize card game or something like that which is kind of nice as well so we do like the defense side of the deck and we think that's probably the strength of it there's no healing but it is kind of an annoying deck to have to get around so for the defense we're giving it a nine out of ten as for reliability well that's the tricky part of the deck the opposition really does have a lot of control about the reliability of this deck simply because we need them to have a lot of Pokemon for this deck to be successful. We either need them to bench them all so our crabs can uh, fight alone and get some good value out of it or we need them to hold them in their hand and have good attacks that we can use with our Mally. and we don't necessarily have control over that so the opposition can actually control the reliability of this deck which is kind of bad. It is fun to play because it makes us think uh, you know, quite a lot as we're playing how you actually need to play this deck. You need to really think through the turns and that's a lot of fun to play, but the reliability really can be dictated from your opponent here, which is the weakness of the deck. So because of that, I'm giving reliability a 5 out of 10. So overall, what do I think? This is a fun little combo to pull off. It's fun to put your opponent into that catch-22 that if they bench all their Pokemon, we're going to go in with our crap. 
if they keep that Pokemon in their hand, we're going to go in with our Mally. And if they've got them in the discard, we can go in with our Mally and our surprise box. It's a fun little combo to pull off, and I do recommend giving it a go. It's not a world beater, but a fun combo to pull off indeed. And I do like it and respect it for that. So overall, we're giving it a 7 out of 10.